Listen, if you're in a book club, chances are you've already read this book or you're about to. And even if you're not in a book club, the buzz around this next novel is huge, as in two million copies sold so far. That is a truly outstanding number for a debut novel especially. So Where the Crawdads Sing is a love story. It's a murder mystery. It's a study of the beauty of nature and a look at the raw power of loneliness. And it is also getting the Hollywood treatment from none other than Reese Witherspoon. Delia Owens, she is the woman weaving the words together in this absolutely stunning story and she is with us in the Your Morning Studio. An honor to have you here, Delia. Thank you. Thank you, Melissa, for having um, me. We're going to begin right at the beginning. You have a so-called Marsh Girl, as we call her, and we've got a murder. Set us up from there, a quick synopsis of this stunning novel. As you said, it is a lot of things. It's a murder mystery. It's a very intense love story. It's a courtroom drama. But it also has a lot of layers. It actually talks about, in a very subtle way, why we behave as we do and how what we can learn about ourselves from nature which is i mean it's just written through and through the entire book i i know that the writing here is so vivid and kaya who is your protagonist she lives in this nature she observes it intently she's very in tune with it as well now you come by this honestly as a writer because your last life was as a wildlife scientist, a zoologist in Africa. How much of that experience infused this debut novel for you? Quite a lot. I lived 23 years in Africa. Uh, I'm a zoologist and I studied lions and elephants and baboons and, and what I learned, one of the things that influenced me the most was that in the groups, like the pride of lions and the troop of baboons, they're made up only of females. So it is in our genes that we are, have, women have a strong propensity to belong to a group. Mm. So I wanted to write a novel that would explore how a young girl who was abandoned, how it would affect her to grow up without a troop. But since we have this, you know, look at the book clubs, look at women just love to be in groups. We have the genetic propensity to do that. Mm. So what happens if we can't live in a group? So here's this little girl who was mostly abandoned and she had to live, grow up in the marsh. She had to figure out how to collect mussels for food and how would that affect her? How would that change, how would that change her behavior? And, and hence the real deep theme of loneliness yeah, loneliness, this novel as well. Yes. We mentioned a big name off the top, and that is none other than Reese Witherspoon. And she has decided that she is, not only does she choose this for her own book club, but she has purchased the movie rights. Yes. Yes. How are you involved in this, and what was that phone call like? I presume a phone <laughs> call, or maybe it was a visit in person with Reese. Well, eventually I met in person with Reese, but the phone call came from my agent that she was going to um, option in the book to do a movie, and, and I was so excited. And I'm, I love that she's doing it because she's done some, made some great movies from books. Then I went to Hollywood and we had lunch together. Oh and that my was a, gosh. I know, it was so fun. She's a Southern girl. She says y'all like I do. And, <laughs> and so we just hit it off and, and, and I'm just very excited about that. Okay, and we'll see. Do you have any hand in casting? You know, they actually asked me, but I never get to see movies. I live very remotely still, so I didn't... But they, they're letting me read the screenplay as it's written, and they've asked for my opinion. Wow. So I, um, but I can't wait for the casting. That's going to be fun. Oh and I'm gosh. thinking I'm going to ask them if I can do a cameo. <gasps> and I want to do a cameo with Tate. You don't know who, it, you know, some of the readers won't know, some of the viewers won't know who Tate is, but he's cute, and I want to make sure I... <laughs> have a cameo in one of those scenes. <laughs> I love it, Julia. This is amazing. Uh, all of the success around this has been so huge and a huge congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much Let's for having remind, me on. Uh, everybody, it is called Where the Craw Dads Sing. Go and get yourself a copy. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.